everyone, it's Ellery, and I'm back with another mukbang, which come to find out, my friends don't watch my page. First of all, so I, did, okay. I did watch it. It just took a minute for me to jar my memory back, because I remember you watching it, because you was trying some, I don't remember, I don't know if it was a burger or something, but it was something you was eating with two hands, you was drooling. You were drooling. Wait for it. And back with another mukbang, um, along with... We did a, we did another yeah. one. Twice for the extra alcohol, so we gotta do two pumps. There we, there we go. So, my friend Bria, we went to eat crab, and she got a horrible egg in her, and I wanted to try it, so that's why I got it. Do you see what Show them what it looked like. Y'all eat that. You want me doing that? in the caption not only are we you know muck banging and eating because that's what we like to do um we're also talking about dating yeah. you didn't have to take that deep of a breath girl <laughs> you did not have to backstory <laughs> oh nobody's watching this backstory Kayla and I met through technically they're Mm -hmm. Technically, the proper terminology is that through our exes is how we met. <laughs> and she didn't like me at first, so there's that. Um, first of all, let's just stop there. Because anybody that knows me knows I don't like anybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to say that part. Especially when you first meet them. I'm like that person that don't like new people. Like, I'm, I'm there. 100%. Like, you get very much like... The girl that's pretty and ghetto to walk in and don't even say hello. And I won't. But yeah, so there was that. And then um, we went through breakups. Hers was before mine. Then mine was next. And then, so the whole point of me telling y'all that story was that we dated them just so we could date each other. <laughs> <laughs> was that. So anyway, so since then, that was about almost two years ago for you. Mm -hmm. and almost a year ago for me. Mm -hmm. And um, so now we just be like dating and stuff. You know, we we you know, Not I right. might come down here to see her. You know, she'll come back to see me. You know, what I'm saying we'll, you know, do a little cute stuff. Yeah, cause we tried to date, but then it didn't work. How is dating post? First of all, long term relationship. <laughs> dating is very stressful. I'm not <laughs> built for this. Like, not anymore. I'm I'm not. Like, I'm just, my tolerance is thin. Like, I don't have time to, like, sit around with you like, oh, what's your favorite color? F that. Do you know what my um, favorite color is? I, don't, I feel like I don't have time to, like, try to figure out what you We just jump right into it. Like, what's your credit score? Do you want kids? How many? 
Mm -hmm. How's your living situation? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. How's your relationship with your parents? Especially for guys, I think too, it's important to consider and research the relationship that guys have with their mothers. Because oftentimes you find the way that guys treat their mom is a direct reflection of how you can expect to be treated. And that could be good or bad. I was about to say, that's good, bad, or, or yeah, indifferent. Or indifferent. Yeah. It could be whatever. Come on, serve it! So. But it's just very stressful, like, trying to get all that because, especially, like, in the nowadays, everything is so fast-paced. People don't take the time to really get to know each other for real. It's just kind of like a, um, or we just in the moment type of thing. Cause I believe like guys, like when you know, you know, like don't waste my time. Mm -hmm. So. Or at least be honest about at what least, you trying to use my time for. At least be like, honest. Like if you just trying to kiki and whatever, that's cool. Say that though. All right. You know, so especially if I come in and I tell you like, listen, I'm, I'm trying to have a husband. All right. And you know that that's not going to be you. Just tell me. Just I'm tell like, okay, me. cool. Like, you might be cool to talk to. But at least I know not to, like, I know what category to put you in. Right. I know not to answer your text messages very quickly. <laughs> I might leave you on read for a little bit. Um, well, are you dating anyone now? Listen. Yes. So are you put the flashlight on you? Am I dating anybody? No. I, um. So I am currently on two dating apps. Um, one was called it's called the League, and the other one is I don't I don't even want to tell y'all a lot because I can't remember Hinge Hinge. I was just say it. Oh. Christian No, Black. I'm not ready to pay for it yet. So I guess I'm not really that serious. But it's called Hinge, which is supposed to be like the date, the app that's designed to be deleted because they like pride themselves on you finding somebody and stuff like that. So anyways, um, I like Hinge over the league because the league um, is a lot more expensive, costs money. It does. I, thought, I thought it was free. It's not so, free. So it's free to sign up, but like if you want to try to like do a power move or send somebody a message without matching with them prior to then it's gonna cost you money you gotta pay for that yeah versus like hinge they can like your profile picture and y'all can decide if y'all are going to talk to each other or not so i've talked to like several people but they're all just inconsistent like all right one guy called me and he was like um he told me to hit him up on instagram because he don't be on the app enough and he'd be forgetting why, why, why do you why even you have it? it? Why are you here? What is the time? So, um, so yeah, um, <laughs> maybe it's me. So, mm -hmm. do's and don'ts of dating, right? Oh, man. What you think? Um, I don't even know. I feel like I haven't dated like in so long, and maybe that's why. It gets really annoying and frustrating really quickly because there's just stuff that I'm just like. <laughs> I think that don't do it. <laughs> oh, I would say um, if you if you're seriously dating, communication is mm -hmm. like a key, mm -hmm. and I mean communication in all forms, like not even just like, oh, I'm communicating to you about my feelings, like consistently communicate to a person mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying don't hit me up on monday and then i don't hear from you till friday then i don't Ooh. hear from you till next tuesday Ooh. like no that's not what we mean when we say communicate we mean like you consistently have communicate about to me period asking me on a date i feel like you should have that plan together yes like i shouldn't have to think like i just need to know okay with this location, mm -hmm, destination, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. date. Come on. Um, get the tide out. And the get type the tide of, out of me. And the type of dress, like, what's the, what's, what type of ambiance are we going to? Come on, preacher. It don't need to be like, it don't need to be like, well, what you, 
Well, what you want to do? Like, you need to leave. You ask me. Right. You need to leave. If you ask me out, lead me to where you want you me to go. A, you need to have a plan already mapped out. Mm -hmm. And a plan B of that one don't work. Mm -mm. That is tasty. Mm -hmm. But I agree with that. Like, if you're going to ask somebody out, like, be prepared. At the end of the day, be prepared. Be prepared for going out, hanging out, doing whatever it is. Make it do what it do, babe. I just feel, mm -hmm. I just feel like if you're not gonna be about it, be gone. And that's just about mine. Cause it, you said that and it struck a chord, and I just, bro. I just want, I just want that to be clear. Do not go for anybody, male, female, she, him, they. Do. Let do not, me. do not come for anybody if you know, no, really. like, in the long run, that's not even where you're trying to be at. If you know you're going to be... Please don't manipulate people in that regard. Like, Man. do not make people, like, especially, and don't manipulate their feelings to make it, and, like, victimize it against them. Do yeah. not do that to them. Like, like, please. Don't, don't, don't start the car if you ain't trying to drive it, right. you know? Like, so, as you can see, like, post... <laughs> long-term relationships dating has not been the best or the easiest my do's and don'ts of dating is when you start dating try to go to therapy a little bit at least get them three sessions that we get for free with our insurance if you're blessed to have that at least at least just sit down and talk to somebody a little bit get a little self-discovery watch past tides um, yes. relationship series yes. from transformation church set your expectations set your standards Know what you want before you go into anything with and anybody. And don't settle. Once you set your expectations, that's, yeah. that's it. Do not backtrack off of that. Mm -hmm. Somebody is going to vibrate on your level. And they're going to reach you at where you are. Um, Yeah. So, thank y'all for being a part of our mukbang. So, make sure that you all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to also tag Supreme McKay's um, page as well. So make sure that you all um, go and follow her as well and subscribe to her page. I'm going to also put all her social media and everything down below. Wow. Um, let us know what dating is like for you. Do you hate dating? Is dating stupid? Um, is dating working for you? What tips do you have so that yeah. it can work for me? Because secretly she alright. Um, we thank you all for watching and until next time I'm going to go get a toothpick. So. And I'm gonna wash my hands. Ah. Listen. Damn, damn, damn. I'm gonna wash my hands. Bye. <laughs>